Hi. If you watched the video, The Joy of Patching, on our channel last year, you might remember that the oldest video I have of my own patching, I described as a particle bouncing back and forth. This was done by patching the two outer channels of mass to alternately trigger each other, creating an endless volley. This idea has roots in the quadrature functions of the Buchla 281, which has two pairs of function generators, and each pair can be switched into a special quadrature mode where they continuously trigger each other. As Tony wrote in the original maths manual, under the patch idea, 281 quadrature mode west coast swirly bird, they work in tandem to provide functions shifted by 90 degrees. This sort of action-reaction patching led me down a rabbit hole of Rube Goldberg patch ideas, experimenting with actions and results. And I'm sure we'll get into some of that sort of thing in future videos, but right now I want to explore using this swirly bird idea as the basis for the rhythm in a more straightforward patch. Let's start with a simple drone from the DPO. Now I should note that while I'm going to modulate timbral parameters on the DPO for this patch, the beauty of voltage control modulation techniques like this is that they are, let's say, system agnostic. I'm using a shared system, but you could do the same thing with any set of CV inputs you might have. Now let's patch the maths or output to the fold CV input. The OR output will always contain whatever the current highest positive voltage is that's being generated across all four channels of maths. We're going to patch each of maths gate outputs to the trigger input on the other side. Sometimes this patch starts on its own, sometimes it needs to be helped along by momentarily cycling one side, but once it starts we can turn cycling off and the swirly bird begins to fly. Let's hear it. By adjusting the relative levels of the channel one and channel four output attenuverters, we can create different heights for the two sections of this repeating function. Now we also have, with the unity outputs, copies of these functions that we can use individually without removing them from the OR. Let's go ahead and patch those to the other final output parameters. Now, let's go ahead and take the end of rise output, which as soon as we unpatch it, the swirly bird stops. Um, let's go ahead and molt that so that it is creating this quadrature function still. Let's also molt it to the tempi clock input so we can drive some other rhythmic material from the overall frequency of this quadrature function. To start, let's add a little rhythmic interest to it by taking a uh, multiplied clock from the tempi and patching it to a middle channel of mass. This sort of superimposes a faster gate stream on the OR output, and we can adjust the result with the channel 3 output attenuator burger, even removing it if we want by turning it below midnight. Now let's turn this from a drone into a sequence. Thank you. 
I've set the X gate output to triggers on the fun page so that we can do gate ties with the glide page. Gating particular notes and having rests in between can obscure that quadrature motion, but we can bring it back with ties if that's what we feel makes sense musically in this context. Let's go ahead and add the Y channel to the mix as well. I've turned on the sync option on VCO A so we can do a nice bass line. And let's just go ahead and add a little modulation to the herb verb to fill out this rhythm. functions in your patches? I always thought of this patch as kind of a fun thought experiment, but like so many modular patches, it's malleable enough to be used in all kinds of different contexts. Happy patching.